So let's get started. I just had to have a little bit more of a break. I did laundry today and as you all know, my alkaline vegan journey is on day. But yeah, let's get in here and get started. That means I have to open the front door. Here we go. Let me just take this down. As a matter of fact, let me just start over. <laughs> I feel really like nauseous about the stomach. A little dizzy. Okay, you all sit right there and let me get ready. I've got to pull the ingredients together. What you're looking at is out of my front door. Just a Okay, so what I need to do, oh, I need water. What I need to do is to start putting ingredients together. Now you all say you want me to make pasta. Now, very simple. Water, flour, oil, that's all you need. You can season it if you want or not. Now let me get this together. Let's see who's home. You know, once you follow uh, the host, you automatically become a member of my Alkaline Vegan Journeys family. I took everything off the doggone table. Y'all know it's tiring. Reach up there. What, what am I doing? Oh, I need some way, because I don't have my tripod. So I've got to have a way to, yeah, you know, put my freaking phone somewhere. I get so frustrated sometimes. So many little things. And I think that's how you get short-tempered when you're dealing with uh, fasting. I mean, you don't have time for the little stuff. Really. Where is the flour? It's like... Everything is... Oh, there it is. Okay, we got chickpea and spelt flour. I'm gonna start with those. I always mix those because one is heavy and gooey gooey, one is light and kind of uh, easy to deal with. So, I do have some fried flour, but I need to, yeah, let's do this. This is my starter. Y'all know about sourdough starter? I use this to make my breads. As a matter of fact, let me get this stuff out of the way. chopping board, but I do need my rice flour, and I need my spatula. What I did is about eight days ago, I added a little bit of uh, dark rye flour and some water into a jar. And every day I feed it a little more of the dark rye flour, sometimes water, but today it's just the dark rye flour. Stir it up, and put the top on it, and just let it sit. Let's 
do that today. And this becomes your sourdough starter. I'm so sick of these flies, and I think that's another thing. I get so frustrated with these freaking bold flies. And of course, I leave my front door open and the back door. See, just right in my face. I'm telling you, I've messed up a shirt. I was cutting some tomatoes and the seeds went, um, I keep the seeds on the uh, cutting board so that I could scoop them into a um, flower pot. And they're already growing, and I'll show you all later. But the fly landed right somewhere close to it. I took my shirt off and I slammed it. And of course, tomato seeds all over my shirt, all over everything. Okay. And all you do is take that flour, stir it in, put the top on it, and you want the um, flour to be really incorporated in this mix. It's really like pancake mix. I probably could have put some more. I'm gonna tell you like this. I am gonna sit down while I do this because I don't know, today is one of those days. Some days I feel full of energy and some days it's like, whew. So, you know. Uh, let me see who's home. Okay. Who is home? No comments. I see user 37. And I'm telling you, you smell this sourdough. Boy. It smells like sourdough. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm telling you. And this is what's interesting. When I bleed, it is such a bright red. It seems like somebody has just recently been killed. And for some reason, these little gnats love this stuff. They love it, but that's okay. We're going to get this incorporated. We're going to close it up. And I see this little cat. We have all kinds of animals around here, though. Last night, I was coming home from celebrating my birthday. And uh, there were some dogs that were at the end of the uh, street. And these little, man, three o'clock, I mean, three of them at one o'clock in the morning, like they're not going to let me up my street so I can get home. I mean, actually approached me like they were going to attack. Man, I, I was not for it. I, man, I was not for it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go down there and... Uh, see, they're wild dogs. They're roaming. They don't belong to anyone. But I think, you know, they're like uh, security dogs, really. Because anytime somebody passes, you know it because they let you know. Man, I cut myself earlier and it just keeps wanting to do what it does. Okay, so I'm going to get my other bowl down. We're going to start mixing the dough. Let me wash my hands and everything. And this is ready. And this is what it looks like. Oh, shoot. I knew that was going to happen. Like, why am I such an idiot? Why am I such an idiot? I don't know. Instead of me just picking up the phone and doing one of these numbers. Dang, start thinking. Okay, so that's done. Put the top loosely on it. Put it back in this little space. And you're good until tomorrow.
So, let's get the bowl and this out. Let's get the bowl. kind of season mine a little bit with some sea salt. First, before you even do that, take a boiler and start your water to boiling. That's so funny, we got chickens running up and down the street. I think I've done too much today. I've never felt like this in the States when I do 21 days, 40 days, nothing. I, I don't get it. I think it's the sun, it just saps your energy. The sun, I haven't been out in it. Y'all know something? I'm not doing this right now. We don't have enough people. I think I'm going to come back on at uh, 9 o'clock. So, yeah. Or at least nobody's commenting, so I don't know who's here. Yeah, let's, let's do this later. I need to go take the sea bath. Instead of taking the sea bath, I wind up waxing and doing laundry, which is so crazy. I should have been out there in the water. That would have given me some energy. So, yeah, we'll come back.